Welcome to my channel. This is Lisa. I'm going to be working on the Marguerite Miller Weekly Challenge for Week 10. We're going to start with something related to a sport. I got a picture of Chicago Cubs. A gate or fence, and I found this farm with a fence post with some uh, missing gates or missing fencing, but that'll work. Uh, poetry or song. So we have this uh, piece of uh, music paper. Uh, numbers. Um, I have a book somewhere here. It's got numbers in the back. Sticker book. And there it is. Um, so there's in the back we have numbers uh, 1 through 9. We'll figure out what we're going to do um, in that later. I also have a uh, set of trees that have some numbers in it. They have same fall colors as the farm. Looking for an old sticky note, so I'll probably uh, write something on that, grunge it up. Uh, bonus something with C, I found these potato crisps, so that should work. And let's get on to the challenge. All right, so we are going to take out uh, the page here, and we'll work on it out of the book. Makes it a little easier. All right, so let's see what we got here. Sorry for the shadows. I'm actually working with some people there in the background there. Hopefully it's not too distracting. So... We have the music notes. I'll ink that up, make that look a little nicer there. So, That should do it. Get a little crunchy in the center there. Uh, and then I got this picture of this lady with the microphone. Her name is, uh, we're going to call her Faye, because the music is called Oh Foolish Faye. So I thought she was kind of cute um, in an old person kind of way. <laughs> I'm old too, so. And we'll probably put her up in the corner there. All right, what's next? Let's get the big cub sign in there. Ink that up a little bit. Um, I got these from an illustration book. Uh, so they're shinier pieces, but I don't want that showing in the background. And let's ink up the post-it note since it says we need to have an old note. Oh, and I didn't have any old sticky notes, so we're going to have to use the new one. All right, let's write a note on there. Uh, we'll just pick a random date in the past. And... Pretend like we're going to go in 1997 to a Cubs game. And then we can go out to, uh, after dinner, we'll go out to dinner with some friends afterwards. That'll work. Okay. Perfect. Ink that up a little bit more, make it really grungy. So, my farm with the fence posts, uh, it definitely has a little fencing in there even though it's broken, so I'm, I'm going to consider it a uh, line of uh, a gate or a fence, so that'll work. And then some potato crisps. So far, so good. So let's get the tree with the numbers in there. We'll get that inked up a little bit, too. Put that behind here. I just probably don't like that sky, so I'll cover that up a little. Make the colors go a little bit better. Tuck in the bottom of that note. And... That looks like that might be a good layout. Yeah, I think we'll go with that. Okay, I think that'll work. All right, 
right, so um, we're going to start gluing this stuff um, in a minute. I'm going to take a look for a set of numbers to put on here. Those tree numbers aren't as bright as I'd like them to be, so we'll see what we can find in the book. Nothing really jumping out at me right now. Uh, maybe we should use a number nine for nine innings in baseball. Yeah, that'll work. Let's see. Nine hearts, uh, nine eggs. That's not going to work. Probably just this bluish number nine should work. That's nice and simple. We'll use that one. Okay. Number solved. Alright, so I think it's probably time to glue. So I think I'll speed this up a little bit so you don't have to watch uh, me glue. Alright, so we got everything glued down. That should do it. And hopefully that takes care of everything we're looking for. Check the prompts and make sure we've got everything. Alright, we're looking for something with a sport, so we've got the Cubs. We're looking for a gator fence, so we've got that. We're looking for numbers. We've got the numbers on the song and the date and in the trees. And the sticky note and something is with C. We got the Cubs and the Crisps. Okay, that should work. Okay, so we're going to put the prompt on the back. And I like to always add a couple things to the prompts just to uh, tie it into the front side of there. So I think you're going to choose this bottle of cola. Couldn't find Coca-Cola, so um, there goes the cuckoo clock again. Couldn't find the Coca-Cola, so we're going to go with Pepsi-Cola, but that'll work. And I thought a cola going to a ball game, that's probably a good tie-in for that, so we'll do that. And there was a date attached to 1919, so that's a good tie-in, too, for that, so... Well, that'll work for that. Okay, and I think maybe we'll use a music sheet. Maybe part of one. Just to tie it in. That'll work. 
and maybe tear it. I got my ruler, or just that. Uh, we'll just tear it. One more on that side. One more on that side. Okay, let's glue this down. Okay, that'll work there. Glue this one down. All right, that'll work. A little glue for this. Beautiful. Okay. I like it. Not straight, but that'll work. Okay. Okay. Um, forgot my little sticker here. I got a Tim Holtz sticker. We'll get that. it up a little bit and find the little glue for that. I hate this little glue sticker. They're so hard to stick on. I need to get a little bit tweezers or something for those things. Alright, where do we put that? That'll work here. Okay, that'll work. Alright, we'll call that. Alright, I think we're going to call that done. get it in the book and I only have uh, if week one through nine we did earlier but I'll have to uh, do a video flip through for that because I didn't record them as I we went um, just started with week 10 here so um, hopefully I should be able to get a flip through video out of the first nine I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you can go out and have a creative day thanks for stopping by and uh, take care